Hello ladies, welcome to Psych for Eugene, a platform whereby we discuss mental health issues. I'm having snow pie guys. I'm coming to shoot this video. It's not a formal video. You can hear kids talking outside, that's fine. You can hear my mom talking, that's also fine. Because I'm coming to shoot this video with mixed emotions. It's not really mixed emotions because mixed emotions means you are partly sad, you are partly happy. I'm not happy at all. I'm sad. I'm saddened by the death of that TikTok teacher that took his own life and allegedly wrote a letter saying they're having financial burdens. And as you know, I live in the rural areas and in the rural areas, we all know each other. And again, every time I go to town, I come back very sad. That's why I don't like going to Bulgwani CBD. I like going to Mall of the North. It's and I come back. Walking around go Bulgwan CBD makes me sad because of the amount of addicts that are there. Coming home, the amount of men with mental mental issues in Gimel. This teacher again took his life and it was like a reminder that men are suffering and they can talk about it because of things like because of things that men are not allowed to cry the amount of addicts that we have that a man is saddening because you don't allow men to have emotions I believe if we allowed men to have emotions none of that would be happening if we allowed men to be broke none of that would be happening oh We have more men suffering mental issues more than women because of the societal expectations. Because of how different we are raised. That's how we have more men with mental issues than men. Because women are allowed to speak out. Men are, men are not allowed to speak out. Women are allowed to cry. Men are not allowed to cry. That's very sad. That's very sad. Let's be a generation of people that allows men to attend therapy. Let's be a generation of people that allow men to see psychologists. It's okay. Tell your boyfriend that it's okay to cry. Tell a boyfriend that it's okay not to have money. Stop this in total mass, in total mass, in total mass. We have more men committing suicide, but we are not asking ourselves why. Because we are not Of course, we are not email, but at least we are allowed to cry. At least we are allowed to go to therapy. But men are not allowed to do that. They are not allowed to see, to be seen as vulnerable, to be seen as weak. They don't want to be laughing stock or when I'm jitter, when I swag. Because I can love swag, I can love weak, I can love musadi. I can tell emotions legend that it's a little wrong because emotion na Allah ba mija musad. Emotion legend that it's a little wrong because after all, men are also human. They are allowed to have emotions. They are allowed to have feelings. Kore like but na being a man sometimes is hard. I'm not a man. I'm a woman. I'm just speaking based on the societal expectations of men. 
must buy me a car, you must take care of that thing, you must give me an allowance. That's bad. I, I, I feel for them. I feel for them. I pity them. And sometimes because they are not allowed to cry. And that's not good. Go to therapy, guys. Or else it will be abusers. Jauru uwiki is fine. Ibaru uwiki is okay. Ibaru a woman is okay. Because women are also humans. It's painful. It's painful. And the unfortunate part is that we can't blame ourselves. Because this goes way back. This has been happening for a very long time. Even our grandfathers were not allowed to cry. Even our grandfathers were not allowed to cry. But we must understand that mental issues are there and mental issues must be resolved. People must talk, people must share their feelings. So right now we expect men to be okay every day, all day, 100% okay. But from them that's not possible. Why is never said okay? But if I was, if I had a boyfriend that was going to encourage the men to do therapy, I was going to encourage the men to do, to see a psychologist. I will go to therapy because you're not, men, uh, you're not okay. You go to therapy even in your happiest moment to stop the unhappy moments from coming. Go to therapy. Stop with this social expectations. Because we get sick. And in this year, in Dodamas, in Dodamas, who's natural down now? Oh, so. Then I would say. Then I would say, I'm too worried and I'm afraid. She'll take a quiddy and get to work when I'll be a little bit and I'll be a little bit. I'm not sure that I'm not sure. Just for a say, I'm a country, yay, That's what the number country, yay, for a yay, um, for that print. Man, it's bad. And it's painful the amount of pressure women, pressure men suffers because of society and social expectations. Sad. I just wish someday, someday we shall sit down and talk. It's sad. It's not possible, so guys. I don't know how this, this thing will be solved. But I don't even think it will be solved. It will be solved now. This thing of getting men to talk. But we must try to get them to talk. Make them feel okay to talk. Not joke about their vulnerability. 
not joke about their emotions. Not shove their emotions aside. Not shove their feelings aside. It's okay. Dear me, it's okay to cry. It's okay to talk. It's okay to see therapy. It's okay not to be okay. Dear men, it's very much okay not to be okay. Thank you. Bye. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and also encouragement to see therapy. Thank you. Bye-bye.